greetings uh, students we have a question here okay on the board that we need to work out this is mathematics evaluate we have the integral of 6x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 plus 3x squared minus 1 dx and limits have been given the upper limit to the lower limit negative 1 so whenever you see such kind of questions, I just know that you're dealing with the calculus. Now, what type of calculus? We have um, differential calculus. We also have integral calculus. So when you see this symbol, we are dealing with uh, integral calculus or integration. You can call it in that way. But again, what type of integral calculus? Remember, we have what we call uh, definite integration and indefinite integration when you are provided with limits the boundaries okay like the way it is here then this is definite integration not indefinite okay so look at the term that has been used evaluate meaning we have to find the exact value of whatever we've been given that is the meaning so let's begin to evaluate this here, you need to integrate first. That's the first thing. You need to do what? To integrate the given polynomial. So we're going to integrate, and uh, this is the way we integrate. So we have 6 here, x to the power 5, we have minus x to the power 4, we have plus 3, x squared minus 1. We are doing what? We are integrating. So we'll be able to integrate term by term or integration by parts. So integrate this, we'll go to this, this and this. We start with the first one. So we're going to say 6x to the power 5. When we are integrating, we add 1. So plus 1. So add 1 to the powers. The result that you are going to have here, divide. So 5 plus 1 gives us 6. So we have integrated the first one. We go to the next part. Minus x to the power 4. Add 1. The answer, divide. This plus this gives us 5. Go to the next part plus 3 x squared add 1 so plus 1 the result divide by 3 this plus this is 3 go to the last term minus look at the last term it's constant what happened when you integrate this constant that you're seeing any constant has got a variable so the way it is here, now uh, one here, it has got t, x to the power what? Zero. I see that. Remember, indices says x to the power zero is what? One, eh? So when I've got any, I'm talking about any, um, any constant, it could be seven. Just know that there's x to the power zero. So a constant has got x to the power 0 attached to that constant. So remember, always remember that when you are integrating. Because this will be plus 1 divided by what? 1. So this is exactly what we are going to do here. So this is 1x to the power 0 plus 1. I see that. So I will be able to say 1 here. x 0 plus 1 is 1 divided by 1. I've integrated. What answer am I going to get? So this one will definitely going to give me x. What answer are you going to get here? When you integrate this, you are going to get what? 0 plus 1 divided by 1. I see that. So you get 7x. That will be the answer. So when you integrate a constant, there will be x attached to that. We continue. Let's now simplify at this stage. 
So 6 into 6 we can cancel. We have x here, which will be power 6 minus x. This will give us 5 plus this will give us, we we'll divide, so we remain with x on top here to be a 3. I see that? Minus, what answer am I going to get here? X. Take note of what I've said on constants. Okay? Take note of what I've said on constants there. Well, we continue. Now, at this stage, you have integrated. You are not going to put plus C. No. Why? Because this is a definite integral. It has got limits. We only put plus C if these are not there. If they've said integrate without this, then your answer should have plus C. So now that we have integrated, what next? We are now going to substitute the limits. This is the upper limit. This is the lower limit. How do we substitute? You start with the upper limit. You substitute wherever there is x, you are going to substitute with the 2. So we start here. 2. I see that? To the power 6. So when you are substituting, remember to put in what? In brackets. Minus. Here there will be a 2. To the power 5. Over 5. Plus. Here there will be a 2. To the power 3. I see that? Minus. Here there will be a 2. So we have substituted, make sure you, uh, you have done the correct thing here. When you substitute, put these in the square brackets. You have substituted with the first or the upper limit, followed by the lower limit. Before you can substitute the lower limit, always, and I'm using the word always, put a minus here. Okay, you are going to put a minus, then after putting this minus, you are now going to open another, just like you did this side. You are also going to do it on the other side with the lower limit. So you start from here. You start from whatever you have um, integrated. So here, the first one will be negative 1, here, to the power 6. So negative 1 to the power 6, minus... Next will be x here, which will be negative 1 to the power 5, divided by 5, like this. Next will be plus, you have x here to be negative 1 to the power 3, like this, minus, here it will be negative 1, one like this. Let me do that. I hope you are following. That is the way we do the substitution. Always here there should be a minus, not any other sign. Then from here, you can now uh, simplify further. What is 2 to the power 6? You can now use the calculator at this point. So six, uh, 2 to the power 6, that will give us... So we have 2 raised to the power 6, and that will be 64. So this one will give us 64. Minus, what are we going to get here? 32. So we have 2 raised to the power 5. We have 32. So we have 32 here by 5. Then new plus here we have 8. That is 2 uh, raised to the power uh, 2 raised to the power 3. That will be 8. Then minus 2. Okay. At this point, you can use these brackets. Minus. Again, you do the same on the other side. Negative 1 raised to the power 6. Definitely, this will give us a positive because this is an even number. So, that will just be a 1. Then here, we are going to have a negative because this is an odd number. So, negative 1 to the power 5, it will be negative. So, that negative and negative will switch to a positive. Let's see what I'm doing. So, negative, negative, negative 1 to the power 5 the answer will be negative 1 because this is an, this is an odd number. 
this is an odd number. So we are going to have negative 1. So this negative and negative will give us a positive here. So it will be 1, whatever we are going to have here, 1 over 5. Like this. Then here, this is an odd number. So definitely when negative 1 is raised to the power 3, it will be a negative. So this negative and uh, a positive will give us a negative. So here we have uh, negative 1. The negative negative will be a positive 1. So we have this. I see that. What next? We can now simplify further whatever we have here. It can be simplified further. So we have 64 minus C. You can use the calculator. Just enter everything so that we reduce uh, the number of stages here. So 64, we can say 64 here, minus, we have 32, we have 32 um, divided by 5, then plus 8, plus 8, minus 2, we are going to have 318 divided by 5. So when you simplify everything here, we are going to have this minus on the other side okay so definitely this one will give us a, a, a zero here so we only have one there plus one over five one over five and this will give us six over six over five like this then you can subtract the two three eighteen divided by 5 minus 6 divided by 5. Now remember, as you're using a calculator, the division I'm using here is this same division on the calculator. You enter them like this, than using this. I see that. Divided by 5 minus that. Enter the way you're seeing them in fraction. So when you enter that, you're going to have 312 divided by 5, like this, of which you can now leave your answer in mixed fractions. So we can now say our answer will be 62, 2 over 5. This will be the exact value of what has been given. So take note, when you are dealing with um, integral calculus that has got limits. The first thing, integrate. When you integrate, you start substituting. Start with the upper limit. Before you go to the lower limit, there should be a minus. Substitute in there, then you can use the calculator to shorten the number of stages, and you'll be able to get that one. I hope this is clear. Bye-bye.